fourth problem the three phase motor uh, 500 volt star connected synchronous motor gives output of 17 kilowatt so output power is 17 kilowatt on full load operating at 0.9 lagging power factor its armature resistance 0.8 the mechanical losses 1300 watts estimate the current drawn by the motor and full load efficiency they are asking okay this is another one type of problem the supply voltage is 500 voltage so the 500 voltage is line voltage or phase voltage that we have to decide so star connected synchronous motor means the voltage is uh, 500 voltage given is line voltage because normally they will give the voltage between any two lines in star connected between two line is nothing but line voltage so line voltage the power factor is 0.9 cos phi is 0 0.9, 0 0.9 lagging is given then output power output power is 17 kilowatt that is also given then ra value is given so mechanical loss is given 1300 watts additionally given so output power is nothing but gross mechanical power developed minus mechanical loss this is one formula just uh, at this stage you just uh, remember this formula okay so in third unit i will draw the power stages okay power stages of the motor in that uh, you can understand this equation there is output power plus mechanical or output power output power is nothing but power available on the shaft or soft power soft power plus mechanical loss is nothing but gross mechanical power developed okay so gross mechanical power developed minus mechanical loss equal to output output power so output power 17 kilowatt is given this is 1300 uh, watts so gross mechanical power developed is uh, 18300 watts gross mechanical power developed okay so input power what is the input power 3 v phase i phase cos phi in stator copper loss is 3 i a uh, I, I squared r I, uh, I, I squared a phase into r a so that is gross mechanical power developed is nothing but p in minus stator loss p in minus stator loss okay so p m is 3 v phase i phase cos phi that is p in is 3 v phase i phase cos phi stator loss p m is uh, 18300 then 3 v phase value then i a then cos phi so finally go, we going to calculate i a value okay so in third problem they have given the efficiency so like that here the mechanical loss and some other data were given from that we have to derive i a value okay so this is another one approach so the p m is given then 3 v phase i a phase then power factor then minus 3 i a phase squared uh, point, uh, point 0.8 that is r a value is given so from that uh, you can have the one equation quadratic equation you can solve minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 ac divided by 2a formula using that formula you can have the value so you will have the two value so one value is 25.477 to another one is 299 so from out of these two you have to choose one so the 299.9 is uh, uh, not realistic so that is higher value so that is neglected so ia value should be 25.477 okay so once you have ia value same procedure so that is p in equal to 3 into v phase then ia phase then cos phi input power so once you have input power output power is given question itself given 17 into 10 to the power of 3 the input power you have calculated now so this is efficiency 85.61 85.61 